early to wake up, but it is early to play well. Absolutely. So, yeah, the green team here, we've got Vincent repping Washington and a really good doubles peach. Tends to play defensive. And his teammate, a really button pressy fox, Casper, all the way from SoCal. This man loves to us smash, loves to get in there, make the action happen. On the other hand, we have Yee Man and Naren. I think Yee Man's from up here, and Naren is. I think he came from kind of far away, but I could be wrong. Interesting. We'll have to see if they got some chemistry then, if they're, uh, you know, regular regular partners, or this is just teaming for the event. Double Fox, uh, definitely a very strong team, but Fox Peach has the tools to deal with it for sure. Uh, Naren looks a lot older than the last time I saw him. He was definitely <laughs> a kid the first time I saw him in like 2016 or 2017. Looking like uh, he's had some growth spurts since Full then. Full grown man. Yeah, his fox is probably comparably grown as well. I was well. gonna say, yeah, that's gonna, we're gonna have to see if that fox has growth spurts too. It'll be uh, hopefully a, you know, a good starting match early in the day. Get a, a little bit of doubles action, you know? Doubles I think is, you know, it's pure melee in some ways. <laughs> There's a lot of melee going on on the screen. When people <laughs> ask why I like teams, I just say it's like twice as much melee at once. Yeah. <laughs> it's also such a good kind of, you know, way to start the day off. You get to see all these different interactions and things like that so much more than you would if you were just watching singles, you know? Casper hasn't SD'd yet, and he's been doing only ledge dashes, <laughs> so that's a good sign. He's doing some tournament winners, not always the best ledge dashes, it, but to get zero SDs after 90 seconds of ledge dashing is a good sign, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Love seeing... I, uh, I'm guessing that's. Uh, I guess I can't really tell. I, I, my my hunch is that PYBS is Yee Man, just for the the Y. But yeah, we can we can look at the controllers. Uh, oh, that's okay. a good point. Yeah, so Yee Man, Yee Man, you were right. You're okay, correct. okay. Always good to get that out of the way. Yeah. Um, near and uh, near and grabbed the ledge from Casper there. So while he's practicing his ledge dashes, couldn't get another one in. <laughs> trying to ice him out a little bit. All right. So something I want to be watching out for is. Vincessen, he's not a very down smashy peach, but down smashing is really good in teams. That said, uh, if he does down smash, we'll have to see if one of the foxes can get in there and punish him with an up smash or a wave shine up smash. Um, sometimes though, in teams, you like your teammate will get hit by one more down smash than you thought, so then it has a different <laughs> end lag, so then you'll get punished trying to go for your punish because the timing is different. So it can be a real mess. Yeah. Um, I'll be interested to see what stage they start on as well. I was just about to ask, yeah, do you think uh, there's any sort of clear advantage for uh, a double fox team here, or? You know, uh, yeah, it's definitely team? an advantage, but like, shit can hit the fan real yeah. fast. So, Are you expecting an FD counter pick um, from that double fox team, or? No, uh, I think starting stage will probably be uh, FD or Battlefield. Mm -hmm. uh, FD tends to be the like quote unquote like neutral stage in teams, and I think in this case it, it will be. But I don't know. Personally, I hate playing on FD. Okay, are they going to go in stadium? Pokemon Stadium, yeah. That would surprise. Me. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. okay. This is definitely uh, box count pick for obvious reasons. Um, nothing strategically really relevant. Just that you kill them fast and it's it's long. Though having a top platform can be pretty nice. Uh, it'll be also be interesting to see if these foxes, the double fox team, opts to try to like play mostly on the platforms and come down with like shield drop back airs and stuff like that, wave land back air, or <laughs> if uh, they play more grounded. Yeah, I think it's something definitely to watch out for too. Is just peach with the platforms, as you said. You know, Vincessa not necessarily like a down smashy peach, but you know, you got the platforms. It 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 is a. An added place for you to kind of wall out the other team, uh, especially with the fox standing beneath you, right? So, it'll be interesting to see if they're, uh, you know, planning on camping the platforms a bit, or if they're going to be a little bit more aggro, or just trying to kind of hold center stage. So th there was a regional where I teamed with Fat Goku once, mm -hmm. and we played against Vincessen and somebody that I don't recall. And I told him like, yeah, Vincessen is like a really honest Peach. He wasn't cheese. And then we won. <laughs> and he's like, man, that Peach would be like way better if he just spam down smash. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, in teams, it, it's. You want the chaos as Peach. You, yeah. You reap the words of chaos, so if you can create some scrappy blender situations. Yeah, I'm a chic player, and definitely, <laughs> definitely in teams, I'm uh, I'm trying to blend as much as possible. Yeah. In the uh, eternally wise words of homemade waffles, if you ain't spinning, you ain't winning. <laughs> Absolutely. Looks like we're about to get into the game. They just finished up that kind of just secondary button check. Yeah, I wonder what that was about because the first one was pretty long too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just to make okay, sure. Battle oh, okay. They didn't want to go to Pokemon Stadium. We're yeah, on Battlefield. Yeah. It turns out and we're right into it. Okay, I like I like these down smashes already. <laughs> That's exactly what I always thought of Incessant should do more of in teams. That said, you can you know you can eat some hurt as Peach if the foxes are good at punching it. Yeah, so absolutely. You smart. Peach already up to seventy one percent there. Peach oh. holding down center stage though. 
Yeah, um, but Seth's been playing pretty aggressive, actually. A little bit surprised. Like I said, I, I tend to consider him pretty defensive from my experience, but, you know, people's play style changes. And uh, I've noticed on, like, doubles discords, Vincent is extremely active. Hmm. So he's definitely been grinding doubles. Yeah, I wonder, oh. uh, do you know if Casper's is a kind of frequent partner? Yeah, he's, he's not. Okay, interesting. Yeah, definitely a good start, though, for Vincent and Casper. Able to kind of just hold down center stage. They uh, had a, a few nice sequences trying to just, you know, separate these two foxes and trying to, uh, you know, get some of these early stocks. With punishing with grab by Yi Man is kind of a classic doubles mistake. You should either like go for up smash or, or not punish at all, or maybe go for an air or something, because the grab puts you in a lot of lag, and then you can just get a counter hit by yeah. the other teammate. And Vincessen able oh. to, to <laughs> he, he ends up dying for it, but he was able to save his teammate there. Just holding on to these lives, nice and high percent. Trying to see oh. if they can get another quick kill. It looks like they will. Uh, yeah, down smash from center at 70 to kill him. Yeah. Peach coming out with the tennis racket. Hate to get hit by oh. it. Vincessen, uh giving up his team positioning a little bit there and then missing the punish on that up throw. I could have opted to stay closer to his teammate. Oh, what's going on? Is able to save his teammate though, or at least give him a chance to recover. Ooh. This fox is living to 165. He's been able to take stocks. I mean, this is this is what you want to see. Finally, uh, that first life's gone, but they've got a, a nice clean two stock lead here. Yeah, good target switch by Naren to, to get that stock when you hit somebody's teammate, and then their teammate tries to regroup to help, and you immediately switch to the person who tried to regroup. It's a, it's a really good strategy. No jump. Oh, okay. Naren got back. Ooh. So I'd be assigning it's punished, but not too badly. Just sandwiching both of these foxes in between them. Not where you want to be in between a peach and a fox. Yeah, um, Yi Man should probably try to go for the double team on Casper there. Okay, yeah, again, good target switch there. Uh, trying to shark the peach tends to be a poor use of your time compared to double teaming a fox. Oh, oh really good shine there to save the uh, save the peach from getting up smashed off the top. Yi Man, a nice little sequence there in general, just was able to shine spike the peach off stage at least so that his teammate could recover, but oh. he is able to get <laughs> sweet spot the edge. A little bit of a flub there from Casper, it looked like. Yeah, a number of mistakes there, but uh, overall everything's still going really well for Green Team. Oh, and then just gets hit and set up perfectly for that back air. If they can get this kill, there's a good chance, you know, they can come back. Oh, and the team kill from Vincent. They're going to have to hold on to this life, though, on, uh, on Niren. Yeah, let, oh, oh wow, text the platform. Yeah, I love to see the green team play a little bit closer to each other. Peach really struggles to regroup with Fox when uh, the Fox is to the stuff because she's a lot slower. Yeah, and, and Niren right there went in when he was just 1v2 instead of just trying to kind of play it safe, hold, hold off a little bit, and almost cost him, but he is able to get back on stage. We have kind of two 1v1s happening right now as things reset a little bit. Oh, but yeah, lots of percent on both Foxes. Niren probably done unless I uh, get a save. No. Oh, he goes for the save and it's probably going to kill him too. Oh, oh. Okay, still no jump. Oh, never mind. Okay. Wrong. Okay. Just grabs the edge, and that's the first game going to Vincessen and Casper. Yeah, going down, not a bad idea there, because most people go high in teams, so like it tends to be a standard coverage. And because um, Casper wasn't necessarily going to be there to help on a ledge guard, I think going down was an okay idea, but it doesn't work out. Good read from uh, Vincessen. Yeah, so going into game two, uh, what do you expect kind of to, to see? Is there any sort of uh, adjustment you think that Yi Man and Niren can make that'll, uh, you know? Well, let's see. They're probably going to ban. Well, I think the big question is if they're going to go to Yoshi's or not. Um, I bet they won't. It's really risky against Peach. Yeah, okay. So they opt for FD. So this this will really simplify the team combos. Um, it's definitely plausible for Vincessen to eat like seven back airs than an up air. Yeah. It's just like a very free team combo that you tend to see on against a lot of these double socks. Ooh. I yeah. do feel like Yi Man is um, often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, flubbing, I guess, for lack of a better word. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it was Yi Man or uh, Niren on that first stock, but they had a nice little grab combo and then they whiffed the up smash, right? So some of their just like uh, kind of spacing on this uh, in, in general early on has been a little bit off. Um, you've got to kind of make sure that you're just, you know, spaced well enough. You see the teammate there with the up smash, so... Yeah, miscommunication you know, there. Yeah, definitely just a little bit off on their uh, on their spacing right now as a team. But right as I say that, you know, some good pressure. They're able to get a knockdown on this Fox. Let's see if they can convert anything. Yeah, really, really not getting team conversion. That, that's what happens when you kind of play a part. Yeah. And are, like, approaching people on separate sides of the stage, whereas if they played more together, they'd be more ready to convert in those situations. Yeah, and again, this Peach has been living to very high percents for uh, playing against a double Fox team, so it's going to be really important for them to try oh. to get these kills, and right as I say that, they're not able to get the Peach with the up smash. And, you know, if they can get both these kills, which they can, it's it's 
right back to being a uh, an even game, you know, tied yeah. in stocks. Can be good to wait that and come down with a staggered invincibility timing, so you like have more total invincibility timing. You'll notice uh, P Fat tends to do that like every time. Yeah. So I think it would have been a good idea to do that there. Oh. That double down man. smash there takes one life and a high percent on this other fox. Let's see if Casper can get oh, a shine almost. spike. He's not able to. Still, E Man eating a bunch of percent there. Uh, no GI from Naren on that back air from Vincent just caught him blind. E Man though just doing work one v two right now. It doesn't even need his teammate. <laughs> Princess and not often to go for a save there. It would have been very risky, so I think it's, it's okay. It would be a huge kill oh, if they can no, kill okay. this Peach. Hold on to their lives, oh, but it looks like Mir is dead. Oh, that was E-Man. E-Man yeah. dead. Takes the stock. It's four stocks to a two. If they can get a quick kill on this Peach, maybe an oh. early kill on this other Fox, there's a chance, but it's going to be a difficult one for sure. Oh, no. Right as That's I say that, spike. he goes for the early kill, but misses it. Ends up getting <laughs> shine spiked himself. Ye man, oh. we got a fox ditto while Peach just watches on. Questionable team Ledguard there. Oh, we got okay. some combos though. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I wish Vincent 